The centuries-old custom of the Irish punching above our cultural weight shows no sign of abating in 2015. Nadine O'Regan has the cast list of our leading lights in arts and entertainment for the year ahead. is already shaping up to be an intriguing year in the world of the arts. Although no one really wants to admit it, we're all secretly kind of looking forward to seeing Fifty Shades of Grey. Can Irish actor Jamie Dornan live up to expectations as the whip-touting Christian Grey? The trailers so far look pretty uninspiring, but we'll all probably still head to the cinema to have a look. The Irish director Lenny Abramson is also finishing up work on Room, his adaptation of the Emma Donoghue novel. And we'll also hopefully see new work emerging from John Carney with his film Sing Street, featuring some music from The Edge and Bono. Music 2015 will be a year of surprises and stealth releases. After the likes of, well, U2, Beyonce and Tom York all released albums unexpectedly and via actually pretty unexpected routes in 2014. 2015, the album releases will support the touring because touring is where it's at these days. Big bands will be hitting the road. The script have sold out Croke Park, Foo Fighters headline Slane Castle and their support act Hosier will, I think, pretty much take over the world in 2015 with his particular brand of soul-infused rock music. In 2015, literary fiction will continue to struggle, overtaken by the public's fondness for memoirs and also teen fiction. The Hunger Games, Twilight, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, all have been huge successes and turned into, of course, hit Hollywood movies. Into their midst comes Dark Mouth by writer and Irish Times columnist Shane Hagerty. Now, Shane Hagerty signed a six-figure deal for the series with HarperCollins. Could Shane Hagerty be Ireland's answer to J.K. Rowling? Time, the next 12 months, will tell. And in the Midwest,